I had a bit of a problem where the wood boiler, uh, we were just getting lukewarm water out of the, the wood boiler. And uh, so I came down here and put my hand on the pipes and the bottom one was uh, lukewarm and the top was lukewarm all the way up here, all the way up to the top. Um, and it didn't seem to be circulating. And um, the issue was that there was an airlock. Um, so it had uh, maybe boiled a bit overnight when it was uh, running really hot. So I had to let the air out. Um, there's a pressure release valve up top there that you can see. The silver thing. Let's see if I can, uh, I don't know if I can stick my hand on it here. That guy right at the top of the, right at the top of the pipe there. So you have to open that pressure release valve and uh, vent some of the air uh, that was at the top because it was airlocked, um, preventing um, the uh, the water to circulate, thermal siphon to circulate up through here and in around. So once I released that air, then it was able to vent thermal siphon around. Uh, so that's just one thing to keep, one thing to know when you're running a hot water boiler. Um, to make sure there's no air locks there so that it can actually um, cycle around because if it stops cycling and thermal siphoning um, then it's going to create even more air as the, the water boils in the coil. So that's a, a bit of a gotcha for uh, wood boilers. And the second thing is that uh, our electric hot water heater stopped working. So I got this hot point here which is serves as the hot water boiler but it's also plugged into uh, 240 volt AC through the wires there and um, I turn the breaker on this one here it is on but uh, it wasn't heating the uh, the water and the temperature wasn't cold enough last night to really heat the water up and, it, and I turned it on and checked it back in an hour and it still wasn't hot so now I need to take my voltmeter and check my 240 uh, volt line there to see if it's actually going to power. I may have a burned out hot water uh, tank. So that's no fun. So I might have to uh, get a new one, but we'll see what's uh, what's going on here. We'll see. I'm going to see if there's 240 volts at the end there to make sure that the breaker's working. And uh, if that's working, then uh, the the coil and the uh, the element in the, the hot water heater may be dead, so we'll see. So I got my leads plugged in. I got uh, my voltmeter on uh, volts AC, and you can see that the voltage is 244, 245 volts. So that's my 240 volt AC. So I've got power on the line, and so that means there's something wrong with my hot water heater, my hot water tank, electricity isn't, uh, the, something, the element's not uh, turning on, um, I'm not sure on the amperage, I don't have an amperage uh, tester to see if it's pulling any amperage, um, although I do have another method I could try, but uh, it looks as though maybe the element is burned out or, or something else is wrong here, so at least I know the breaker's working. So for the record, um, I think what the issue was, my hot water heater wasn't working because the emergency shutoff went. Um, there must be a high temperature alarm on this which triggers a reset button to pop. Um, you can see you can see my temperature settings down there. And I think what happened is uh, it got over temperature because of the wood heat and uh, popped that, uh, that breaker, that reset button there. So I hadn't seen that before. Um, it's funny, I don't recall that happening last year, but I think that resolved it. So it's, I think it's sucking power now. Um, the pipes are heating up. So I think that was it. So there you go. Uh, 
Check that your reset button didn't pop. Good little safety feature. As usual, it's uh, always handy to read the instructions for the uh, hot water tank. There is a <clears throat> safety shutoff. If the temperature exceeds the uh, whatever limit they set there, um, the system cuts power to the element and then you have to manually reset it. Um, if for any reason the water temperature becomes excessively high, the temperature limiting control breaks the power circuit to the heating element. Once the control opens, it must be reset manually. So that's what I just did. Uh, it got too hot um, because of the, uh, the wood-fired heating um, the other night when it was 20 below and, it, and it, uh, the safety feature kicked on and shut off the electricity to the uh, element. So that's my issue. So I'll have to keep that in mind and do that every once in a while um, when the, the, when the uh, wood heat uh, heats it up too high. There you go for the next guy.